and like I never left. <clears throat> Hey guys, welcome back to Sidebar Thoughts with Tiffany. Let's just skim over the fact that I've been missing for like two years. I should be a damn celebrity by now. Truth is though, I needed to get some things straight. Firstly, I got me a fancy schmancy camera. And for anybody who knows me, there's nobody cheaper than me. It took me two years to save up enough money. The dollar menu at McDonald's has been my best friend. Small fries never look so good. Now you guys can see how gorgeous I am in HD. Soak it up. Secondly, true story, it took me two years to fix my damn eyebrows. Two years to perfect my eyebrows. I needed to get them right. Y'all see this? So much better. Two years. I went back and looked at my old videos. Y'all couldn't even tell a sister that the eyebrows was looking jacked. Like, come on. Look like I forgot to wash the space between my eyelids and my hairline. Or like it was Ash Wednesday. Every single damn day. Y'all couldn't even tell me my dress was looking like two constipated homeless caterpillars. Just, just chilling on my face. Like, really? Y'all foul for that. I still love y'all though. And I miss you. So much so that I don't even mind starting fresh. Uh, so to my one subscriber that's out there in YouTube land, wherever you are, Whoever you are, are you ready to sidebar? Sidebar, sidebar. Today, I want to talk about lay struggle. Now, I'm not talking about your everyday struggle. Don't have money for grocery. Gotta help the kids with the homework. Gotta do laundry. Paying bills. No, 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 no. Not today. This type of struggle we're gonna talk about today might not even pertain to you. I want to talk about those people out there that were unlucky enough to be given a personality flaw and a fucked up physicality. Now I'm about to be real, real honest. This is sidebar thoughts. These are the things that I say inside my head. It wouldn't be sidebar thoughts if I didn't share these thoughts with you. If you feel like you're going to be unable to handle my truths, now's the time to hit that like button and tune in another time for the next sidebar. I'll wait. Now, for those of you who decided to rock with me, personality flaw, a stink ass attitude, uh. up physicality, halitosis, a hunchback, a Roman eye, a cabbage patch baby arm, I have a question for you. Do you think under any circumstances that it's right for you, mistaken for a pregnant man, that you should exhibit any type of anger or rage to anyone in any manner, in any scenario? You can't be wobbling around on one leg. Someone on this bus better give me a seat. Excuse me? That one leg you're standing on is a clear indication you have to to learn what it means to be beautiful on the inside. You can't be looking like the offspring of Sealy from the color purple and Sloth from the goodies, sucking your teeth and carrying on behind the register at checkers. If you're one of those people who have a cabbage patch arm or a receding hairline, how dare you walk out of a building and not hold that door for the person behind you. You just setting yourself up. I'm just trying to help y'all out. You can't be ugly and cocky. That don't even make sense. You can't have bad breath and a stink ass attitude. Pick one struggle. If when God was giving out beauty, you got to the window and the whole beauty department went to lunch, you gotta dig deeper. If you're lacking in the looks department, word to the wise, you can catch more bees with honey than with whatever you got going on over there. It's not that complicated, people. If you gorgeous on the outside, can't grow it, but can afford to buy it, smooth skin, sweet smelling breath, <laughs> good teeth. If you already 100, then suck your teeth, snap your fingers, roll your neck. We all just hating anyway. But we already know nobody's perfect. Whether you're size two or 22, color your hairline in with a Sharpie, beauty fades, niceness, 
lasts a lifetime. Sometimes people be so nice, you don't even see how jacked up their teeth are. That's probably why y'all let me rock with those ugly ass eyebrows for two years. Till next time.